let's take a look a little bit at a more complicated example. So in this case, I have C3HA propane just being going through combustion by combining with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water gas. We'll look a little bit more at combustion reactions in other uh, lectures. In C3H8, O2, CO2, H2O. Now, when we're talking about more complicated things, more stuff going on, it typically we typically want to look at the most complicated thing as what we balance first. So we want to get take care of, of things that are more complicated and then going to less complicated. In that case, it makes it pretty clear that if we look at this compound, or at the compounds here, O2 here is our least complicated thing. It's by itself, so it's going to be the easiest to, to balance. So this one, we're going to do O2 last. So we're going to uh, balance our oxygens last. In a combustion reaction, we're going to start with our carbon, then we do our hydrogen, then our oxygen. Carbon's a bigger element, kind of helps to, to think about it that way as well. Um, yeah, there's a variety of different ways that we look at it. But when we're looking at a combustion reaction, we go from carbon to hydrogen to oxygen. And those are the only three elements that you're going to see in, the, in our combustion reactions. So with that in mind, we're going to keep track of our carbon our hydrogen and our oxygen on each side of the equation. So carbon on the left, I have three carbons, eight hydrogen, and I have two oxygen. On the right, I have one carbon, two hydrogens. Oxygen you have to be careful of because it's here and here. So we have two oxygens from the CO2 plus one from the H2O. So we have three before balancing. So I'm going to follow the, that order. I'm going to start with my carbons, then do my hydrogens, then do my oxygens. Carbon, I have three on the left, one on the right. So I need to change the coefficient in front of CO2 to three so that I can have three carbons. So that's going to change my carbons to three. Three times two, that's going to make it so I have six oxygens from the CO2. So six plus one, that's going to change my total oxygens to seven. My hydrogens, I have four, I have eight on the left, two on the right. So I'm going to need to put a four here so that I have eight hydrogens on the right. That's going to change the number of oxygens that I have here from one to four. So now I have six plus four, giving me ten oxygens. 10 oxygens on the right. I need to have 10 oxygens on the left. So I'm going to change the coefficient here to a 5. So that's going to give me 10 oxygens. When you have very complex problems like this, it's extremely important that you go back through and double check. Always recount your, your atoms to make sure that you have the right number on each side. Three carbons. 8 hydrogens, 5 times 2, 10 oxygens, 3 carbons, 3 times 2, 6 oxygens from here, 4 times 2, 8 hydrogens, 4 times 1, 4, 6 plus 4 gives me 10 oxygens. So you do want to make sure that you are keeping very careful track of each part of this. This slide just shows you a summary of those steps and the coefficients and how they change at each step as I went along. You do want to make sure that it, everything is balanced across the equation and that you always, always double check.